Technology gives us power, and power means that we have to make choices that we didn't have to make before. For example, so many questions have come up with medical technology in the last few decades, and so many questions have come up with weapons technologies. What should we be doing with these powers that we have now that we have them? Social media is another prime example of we're still navigating the space of how to behave relative to each other. As we're trying to navigate this new space, we have to ask ourselves, what is right and what is wrong, and what is good and what is evil in these situations? And those are fundamentally ethical questions. We become so powerful now that we have the ability, if we choose to, to change ourselves. We, could, um, we can choose um, you know, to genetically modify humans, or we can choose to add uh, biomedical devices into our bodies to change how we function. Most of these things are done for therapy right now, but in the future we'll have to consider enhancement also. So these changes to, to the human body and, also, and potentially even to human nature at some point um, obviously present some powerful risks that we have to go up against and determine are these risks that we want to take or is, are these risks that um, we don't think are worth it ultimately. When we're talking about enhancing humans, we really have to think about what are we enhancing? What, what is it about our human nature that we think is inadequate, that needs to be changed? Um, over the history of humankind, we've always thought that what we wanted to become were good people. We want to be good people. But now that we have so much technology and technology is giving us power, we're coming to think perhaps maybe a good person is actually a powerful person. Um, but I think that this is a danger that we need to avoid. Uh, it's not just enough to be powerful, because if one is powerful without goodness, then one becomes very dangerous and capable of very evil actions. Artificial intelligence is a technology, a field of technology, that people are exploring in order to make sense out of the world. And we want to make sense out of the world because we want to make better choices. And that way it's, it has kind of a fundamentally ethical uh, aspect to it, which is worth uh, pondering, really. Um, lots of the companies that are looking at artificial intelligence, or a lot of the organizations, because it's not just private companies, are looking at it um, with an end, a goal in mind, which is not necessarily the best goal for everyone. Obviously, there, there are, they're looking for a good. They're looking for whether it is making sense of large data sets or being able to understand intelligence that's gathered. All those sorts of things are very important. But is that really the best use for the technology? Could we apply it perhaps to social issues of what's the best way to distribute wealth in society or what's the best way to promote human development in developing nations? There are lots of good uses that artificial intelligence will have application for. Uh, but the question is, are we ultimately aiming it towards those good uses or are we aiming it towards lower goods? Synthetic biology is an area which is going to provide us with the ability to change the genetic code of organisms and even create new organisms from scratch, potentially, as the technology advances very far. Um, this has wonderful potential in terms of creating better food crops or better farm animals, but it also presents some grave dangers because these same types of technologies can be directed towards changing human nature, which we've already discussed a little bit, um, but also um, potentials for producing biological weapons or uh, modifying uh, things in a way that turn out to be bad for the environment um, and bad for humanity. So synthetic biology, well, it gives, it's, it's just another form of power. It can be either applied towards something good or towards something bad. And as we're dealing with that power, it really needs to be controlled and limited in such a way that it's being directed towards good and away from its uh, more negative side.